So, slow and y intercept. Slow and y intercept. Most important concepts in every paper, you get at least one question, even it can go up to three questions based on this simple concept slope and y intercept. So, first listen to me what is the concept is, then I'll take the original papers available in the College Board website and I'll solve all the questions based on these two topics. Suppose uh, if I take any line, if I take any line, what is the equation of line? What is the meaning of equation? Nothing. Equation means like name. You have your names. Okay. Like uh, Sishidhar you have, Samhit you have, Sari you have. What are the name you have? How did you get like your name? Line also should have some name. Then only I can identify a line as simple as that. So there are many ways. To, so suppose your name is X. My name is Venkat. At home they might, might call me something. Uh, others might call me with my full name. So like that equation also have different names, means different equations, different forms. But the most important forms that are available to us is there are two different forms that are available to us. The one form that is important and available to us is y is equal to mx plus c. y is equal to mx plus c. I can also have other form ax plus by plus c equal to zero. My intention here is to help you to get as much good score as possible in SAT. So I confine everything to SAT. So in, if you speak about SAT, equation of line, if I know these two forms, it is more than sufficient for me to solve any question based on the equation of line. So my concept is here is slope and y-intercept. Between these two forms too, this is most important or this is preferable. Immediately you should think why. If I see this A, B, C, how many unknowns? Three unknowns. If I see this, how many unknowns are there? There are two unknowns. So lesser unknowns is always preferable, right? If I give you two questions to solve, three questions to solve, which do you prefer? Two questions because two unknowns are always better than three unknowns. So between these two forms, y is equal to mx plus c is more preferable form. Why this form is more preferable? Because I just have two unknowns. As simple as that. Very good. Now, let me take the form. What is the form? y is equal to mx plus c. This is what is this? This is one of the form for equation of the line. Again, I'm repeating equation means like your name. Line also will have some name. So that name is said to be the equation here. In this, what are the two most important things? One thing that is most important to me is slope. The second thing that is most important to me is y-intercept. Okay. So, but what is the meaning of slope? So there are many, there are many ways to represent slope, or there are many ways to write this slope, or there are many ways to find this slope. But I need this simple and the basic formula. Slope, according to me, is take any line. This line or this line this line this line i'll tell you what is the difference between these four lines two line a line b line c line d i wrote four lines on the board i'll tell you what is the difference but let me speak what is the slope of a line according to me is slope of a line is change in y for example let this be some one let this be some three so when x is equal to one what is y value let this be some minus two when x is equal to 3, what is the y value? Let this be some 5. Assume. Now, uh, when x is equal to 2, it let it be 0. This is better. 1, 2, 3. When x is equal to 2, let it be 0. 1, let it be minus 2. When x is equal to minus 2, when x is equal to uh, 1, let it be minus 2. When x is equal to 2, it is 0. When x is equal to 3, it is 5. Now, when x changing by one unit, what is the change from minus one to two? One unit. When x is changing by one unit, what is the change in y? Minus two to zero. When x is equal to one, it is minus two. When x is equal to two, it is zero. So when x changed by one unit, what is the change in y? Change in y is minus two to zero, two units. So slope of this line is two. So what is the what is the slope according to me is 
change in y even you are an iit student if you don't know this you cannot solve sat questions so that is the reason sat preparation is altogether completely different you need to know the ways to prepare this you need to know the things to learn in this so the first thing that you need to learn about slope is this is the way you need to learn what is the meaning of slope you need to understand the base meaning change in y when x changes by one unit when x changes by one unit for example you take this let this be one let this be two so when x is equal to one let this be some four when x is equal to two let this be some three or let this be some uh, one so when x is changing by one unit what is the change in y three units so change in y is three and x changing by one so it should be three it is plus or minus three i'll let you know actually it is minus three i'll tell you what is plus or plus three or minus three but what is the meaning of slope so we are we are we are all clear with the meaning of slope the meaning of slope is what is the change in y when x changes by one unit everyone should have whenever i ask you what is slope generally if i ask slope what does iit students say they say m is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 or they may say m is equal to dy by dx or they say m is equal to tan theta or they say m is equal to minus a by b like this they might give 100 formulas to find slope they are useless to me unless until i know the what is the meaning of what is the base of slope so the base of slope to me is what is the change in y when x changes by one unit everyone have this in your notes most important most most important so slope is what is the change in y when x changes by one unit perfect clear very good i'll solve many questions you feel like you understood but you might not be able to understand okay let me ask, show you some questions i have a good habit of solving actual papers so in this actual paper let us identify the first thing students ask me how to get good score the first thing how to get good score in sat is you should be in a position to identify which topic the question is from that is the first thing take any student who get 800 in sat math or 1550 or any if you ask them they'll be easily able to tell which topic it is from so the mastery to get good score is mastery of the topic so first understand which topic the question is from then understand the best way to solve that question that's it that is what you need to do for the next two or three months that you are going to be with us so let me take a question based on the slope and y intercept only based on the slope and y intercept i'm not going to speak anything else here i'm glancing even you should skip skim and able to identify which question is based on uh, okay there is equation quickly stores no 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 there are many questions on linear functions but i'm concentrating only to the questions based on the slope only the questions based on the slope i'll give the question based on that i'll ask you to find what is this yes i got a question based on the slope please tell me what is the answer for 29th question just uh, go through whatever i explained it to you right now 29th question is exactly based on this is an actual sat paper you'll get similar questions in sat exam 29th question is exactly based on what i explained it to you so far please do solve 29th question and give me what should be answer according to you what is the answer for 29th question start two things you need to learn in sat one is speed and accuracy both first is accuracy then speed yeah start just type your answer in the chat box yes type your answer in the chat box everyone just keep in mind what is the change in y when x changes by one unit please do type your answer for the question in the chat box
you directly message to me because if you message to everyone, others will copy. Today. First, do registration and go. If not, go tomorrow. What is the urgency here? Good, very good. See, if I am the student, how I am going to solve this question? How easily or how? So, what they had given H is equal to 1.88 L plus 32.01. So, please do relate this to Y is equal to MX plus C. Please do relate this to Y is equal to MX plus C. Very good. Excellent. Yeah, so I would like to relate this to, I would like to relate this to y is equal to mx plus c, y is equal to mx plus c. Now y is h, x is l, c is 32.01, m is 1.88. The formula above can be used to approximate the height h in inches of an adult male based on the length l in inches of his humor. What is the meaning of 1.88 in this contest? So they're asking what is the meaning of 1.88? What is the meaning of 1.88 in this contest? So they're asking what is the meaning of slope? What is the meaning of slope? What is the change in the height in inches of an adult male? What is the change in the height of an adult in inches of an adult male when he is when for one inch increase in his humor length? The approximate humor length in inches for a man with a height of 32.01 meaningless. The approximate increase in the man's humor length in inches for each increase of 32 point meaningless. The approximate increase in the man's humor length in inches for each one increase in reverse. The approximate increase in man's height in inches, very good. D for Delhi is answer. So who all gave me answer as D for Delhi? Yes, Saryu, Mahidar, Sarath, uh, Harshil. Uh, Abhiram, okay, Abhiram. So who who all gave me answer as uh, who all gave me answer as D for Delhi? You are perfect. Even if you get a similar question in the exam, happily you'll be able to do. So I hope everyone understood what is the meaning of this slope now. Meaning of this slope is what is the change in y when x changes by one unit? I'll give you more questions. I'll give you many more questions. We'll solve at least five to six or seven eight questions. We'll become perfect in this topic then we only will move to other question let me take other paper now what i'll do is okay by next class i'll share all these papers with you you need to identify the question instead of me identifying the question if you can identify the question you are almost close to getting 800 in exam so let me uh, skim with me and identify which question is based on this slope what is the meaning of slope and meaning of y intercept which is the question that is based on meaning of slope and meaning of y intercept according to us? Uh, meaning of slope and meaning of y intercept. If I'm skipping, you can just unmute and you can stop me too. Yeah, no, 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 no. These are all, uh, what is the level? Yeah, very good. So this is also 29th is almost based on what I would like to do. So please read the 29th question and try to give me answer 29th. 29th question. See the graph. Read the heading and try to give me your answer. If you have understood this, pakka minimum one or two questions in your pocket.
okay very good if you are getting confused see how i am going to solve this question very good very good samhit and abiram gave me answers they gave two different answers harshil gave me answer three students gave three different answers not good here uh sarath gave me an answer each every 10 years between every 10 years between 1940 and 2000 the average increase in minimum wage was 1948 okay okay uh, i think everyone else has given answer mahider gave me answer sarath gave me answer okay so now see here see suppose even if you get confused sir uh, change in y when x changes by one unit is a confusing to me okay let me do other way of doing this question so the scattered plot above shows the federal mandated minimum wage every 10 years between 1940 and uh, 1990 line of breastfeed is shown so this is the line of breastfeed in 1940 if you take 0 1950 is 10 something something so take this equation in 1940 in 1940 means 0 Means minus 0.488 means the graph will tell something here, so it is confusing. So leave it. So take now x is equal to 20. For example, x is equal to 20 means in 1960. I want to know what is the minimum wage in 1960. So y is equal to 0.096 into 20 minus 0.488. If I want to know what is the uh, what is the minimum wage in 1961, y is equal to 0.096 into 21 minus 0.488. Now, if I try to subtract, what do I get answer? I get answer that 0.096 into 21 minus 20, which is one. They all get cancelled. These also get cancelled. So my answer is 0.096. Why my answer is 0.096? Why my answer is 0.096? So, each year between 1940 to 1920, the average salary. The what is the meaning of this slope? What is the change in y when x changes by one unit? They are telling the by every 10 years they are given the dots. It is not the interval is 10. Interval is again one year when x changes by one unit. But every one year, every one year, 0.096 is slope. What does this represent? Every one year. The change in the salary, the change in the minimum salary. So, change in the minimum salary is zero point zero nine six. So, the minimum salary is increasing by zero point zero nine six each year from nineteen forty to twenty twenty. That is the answer. So, which option is that? A for Agra. So, every ten years, this is a, this is an what is a trap answer. Many of the students are get get confused between A and C. They go for C because this is just a trap. To get confused, use the brain. Put n is equal to thirty. So twenty to thirty, I'm getting zero point zero nine six. No, I'm getting zero point nine six. So this is meaningless. So C for Chennai is meaningless. I hope you get my point. I hope you understand the point that I'm speaking here. So answer for this should be A for Agra should be my answer. Okay. Change in Y when X changes by one unit. One unit here is one year. As I say, I just want to concentrate on slope and Y intercept. Let me go to the next model. Slope on y intercept. Mm. Okay. So, in section three, if I see any slope on y intercept portions are there. Uh, this is the equation of line. We'll come back to those portions. I just want to know what is the meaning of slope and what is the meaning of y intercept portions. I don't want to do any other portions now. Meaning of slope and meaning of y-intercept. No. Now, why I'm doing this before is even you need to learn this skipping, skipping up. You need to be very fast in glancing at the questions. No. 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 Yeah. Mm. So there is a question number twenty-one. I want everyone to see question number twenty-one and give me your answer for twenty-one. Everyone should give me proper, perfect answer. Start. Attack the question.
very good samit even others what is the meaning of 3.39 look into the options attack and give me your answer everyone should give me your answer you are in a, you can give me answer you are all good you can give me answer read the question there are some trap answers very good abiram very good samit very good so there are some trap answers don't worry about those answers yeah, yeah others too yeah you can give me answer start what is the meaning of 3.39 in this context very good sir what is the meaning of 3.39 in this context perfect mahidar okay sir you should give me answer ma you can give me you have good potential arshil very good okay so uh, if i see what is the meaning of 3.39 what is the meaning of 3.39 no ma sir you just see this what is the meaning of 3.39 3.39 is the slope here what is the slope amount of plastic produced in billions of pounds change in the change in the amount of change in the amount of plastic produced in pounds each year so you need to make one thing so y is equal to mx plus c for example i can write 2x plus 5 i can also write y is equal to minus 3x plus 9 7 7 for example one is y is equal to 2x plus 5 second is y is equal to minus 3x plus 7 so what is the difference between these two difference between these two is here y is 2 what is the meaning of y is 2 positive slope what is the meaning of positive slope increasing positive increasing here if i see it is minus 3 what is the meaning of minus 3 negative slope what is the meaning of negative slope decreasing so when i see this slope here the slope here is clearly 3.39 what is the meaning of 3.39 positive slope what is the meaning of positive slope increasing so every year every year 3.39 billions of pounds of plastic so the production of plastic in the us every year has been increased by 3.39 billions of pounds even before me reading to the options if i can make it in on mind if i read the options no way you'll go wrong the amount of plastic in billions are produced in the united states during the year 1985 meaningless when i put x is equal to 0 i get 46.89 if they ask you what is the meaning of 46.89 a for agra would have been answer but is asking what is the meaning of 3.39 the number of years it took the united states to produce 1 billion of pounds of plastic if next option is if y is equal to 1 what is x completely meaningless the average annual plastic production in a billions of pounds so this many might think if i see option d the average annual increase in billions of pounds between these two average annual increase in billions of pounds the change in y what is the change in y annual increase annual increase in billions of pounds of plastic a uh, from 1980 to 2003 so answer for this one should be definitely happily d for delhi should be my answer okay yeah now let me come back and again i'll come back to these questions only so so far i told you y is equal to mx plus c in y is equal to mx plus c so far we have been discussing only about this slope we have not even discussing about c so we understood very well slope slope is how does it change what is the change in y either increase or decrease what is the change in y then when when x changes by one unit okay leave it now what is the meaning of c most important what is the meaning of c so you should understand when do you get c when do i get c when x is equal to 0 so put x is equal to 0 m into 0 plus c 0 plus c is y is equal to c so c is called y intercept why because 
the value of y when x is equal to 0 so 0 comma c so c is said to be the y intercept c is said to be the y intercept so what is the meaning of y intercept the value of y when x is equal to 0 is one thing the other meaning of y intercept is generally we count from 0 we don't count from minus 1 we say i was born in you are born from 0 years you are not born from minus 1 years everything in this world counts from zero so when i say everything it counts from zero so it is also called as initial value c is called y intercept c is called y intercept c is also called as initial value the value at the existence the value at the starting or the initial value or the value of y when x is equal to zero everything went the same 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 that is a c Okay, yeah. Now, when I see this question, uh, let me now uh, do the questions based on both y is equal to mx plus c, both. There are many questions, but I'm doing only what is the meaning of slope and what is the meaning of y intercept as I told you. I'm not doing any other questions. Uh, I'm sure in this paper, there are many more questions. Let me see. Okay. Yeah. Question number one. Everyone should solve. Tell me what should be answer for question number one. Fast. Speed and accuracy both should be maintained. Salim wants to purchase tickets from vendor to watch a tennis match. The vendor charges a one-time service fee for processing the purchase of the tickets. The equation T is equal to 15 and plus 12 represents the total amount T in dollars. Salim will pay for 10 tickets. What does the 12 represents in the equation? Very good, Samit. Perfect. Perfect, sir. You very good, Amma. Perfect, Abiram. Others just read the question. Read the question, Harshil ones. What is the price of one ticket? Price of one ticket is fifteen plus. Price of one ticket means the value of t when n is equal to one. Fifteen plus twelve, which is twenty-seven. So I'm not asking what is the meaning of 27. I'm asking what is the meaning of 12. So definitely A for Agra is a strong answer. The total amount in dollars billion pay for one ticket. So, sorry, this is the price of one ticket in dollars. It's not asking the total amount. If they ask what is the meaning of 15, then option A would have been answered. If they ask what is the meaning of 27, C would have been answered because 15 plus 12, 27. The total amount in dollars Salim will pay for one ticket. So how much I'll pay for one ticket? 15 plus 12, 27 is the amount that I'll pay for one ticket. So I'm not asking what is the meaning of 27. I'm clearly asking you what is the meaning of 12. So definitely C for Chennai is wrong. A for Agra is wrong because the price of the one ticket in dollars. So price of one ticket in dollars is slope. What is the change in the ticket price for every ticket? So the, which is equivalent to price of one ticket in dollars. So A for Agra is wrong. If they ask you what is the meaning of 15, A for Agra is answer. But C is wrong. The total amount of dollars Salim will pay for any number of tickets. So this is the total amount that he pays, 15 and plus 12 for any number of tickets. So the option here is the amount of the service fee in dollars means initial value. When n is equal to zero, even before buying the tickets, I need to pay $12. Why? Because the service fee, because he has an office, he has his own expenses. So definitely he'll charge some service fee. So the amount of the service fee in dollars, so B for Bangalore is answer, not other options. I hope you understood why your other options are wrong. In SAT, the most important thing is realizing your weak areas, identifying where you are weak at and working on them. That only will help you to get good scores. Later on, we'll see when they give equation, how to draw graphs and everything. No, no. This is also a linear function question, but I'm focusing only on meaning of slope and y intercept. If not, I would have made you do many questions. There are minimum nine to 10 questions in each and every paper on based on linear function. Yeah, so this is also a very good question. Question number 13. Uh, you can enlarge screen from your end and try to give me answer for question number 13.
first question number 13 the function h defined by f of h is equal to at plus b where a and b are constants what is the height in centimeters of the sunflower of three days of the growth very good samit gave me answer even others i'm giving you one more minute in one more minute you need to give me your answer because in exam you'll have only one minute to solve a question not more than that Very good, Abhiram. So what is the function they had given? Function they had given is A T plus B. The function H of T they had given is A T plus B. Perfect, Sarath. The function H of T is A T plus B. Where A and B are constant, what are the height in centimeters of the sunflower of a three days of growth during the time period in which the growth is approximately linear? What does A represents? A here is slope. So, what is the change in the height of the tree? What does H of T represents each day? Uh, H of T represents height in centimeters, T represents each day. So, what is the change in the height of the tree uh, each day? The predicted number of centimeters in sunflower grows each day during the period. So A for R is 100%. The predicted number of centimeters sunflower grows each day. What is the change in the height? Uh, change in the height each day. So A for R is perfect answer. The predicted height in centimeters of sunflower at the beginning of the period. So B for, if they ask what is the meaning of B for Bangalore, this is how you need to read the questions. Why other options are wrong? If you are so clear why particular option is correct, you are very good. But if you are so clear why particular option is correct and why other options are wrong, then only you'll get good scores. Not then only, then you'll get very good scores. The predicted height in centimeters of the sunflower at the end of the period, at the end of the period is 80 plus B, entire thing. The predicted total increase in the height of the sunflower in centimeters during the period. Total means, so uh, it is per day or it is given for per day, so A stands for per day, not for entire period. So answer should be A for Agra should be your answer. See, just based on one simple slope, how well they are asking the questions. Correct, right? Yeah. Let me see if there is one more question. We'll just do that. If there is any question, you will do that. Okay. So. Perfect. So there are many more questions in other papers too. I'll share you the work after the class. You can solve them happily. So in SAT, you need to solve more and more questions. The moment you solve the questions, then only you'll become perfect. Okay. Now, uh, uh, in this paper, let me solve the least last question. Then I'll tell you next steps. There are many things. Yes. Tell me answer for question number eight. It is the same thing that we have been discussing now. What is the meaning of slope and y-intercept? You should be able to tell me answer for question number eight. In A, the speed of the sound S in meters per second is a linear function of the air temperature T in degrees Celsius and is given by S of T is equal to 0 0.60 plus 331.4. Which of the following statement is the best interpretation of the number 331.4 in this context? What is 331.4 even before going to the question you need to identify? Identify what is the meaning of 331.4. Once you identify what is the meaning of 331.4, mark that option here. Very good. Samit, you understand the concept. Even others can understand it. Very good. Sarah, you made small mistake here. Very good, Sarah. You perfect, Abhiram. See here, what did I told? Always relate this with y is equal to mx plus c. Should be in a position to relate whatever I am doing with y is equal to mx plus c. So y is s of t. m is 0 0.6 t 
plus 331.4 the slope is 0.6 so what is the meaning of slope is 0.6 for example the speed of the sound in meter per second of the, uh, so speed of the sound changes by 0.6 meters per second for every 1 degree centigrade for every 1 degree centigrade increase in the temperature speed of the sound increases by 0.6 meters per second but is asking what is the meaning of 331.4 what is the meaning of 331.4 y intercept what is the meaning of y intercept the value of y when x is equal to 0 or initial value so the speed uh, the speed of the sound in meter per second is 331.4 degree centigrade when t is equal to 0 degrees or the initial value of the the initial value is 331.4 or the best is the speed of the speed of the sound in meter per second the speed of the sound is increases by 0.1 0.6 meter per second for every 1 degree centigrade increase in the temperature the speed of the sound in meter per second at 0 that is 0.6 i am asking what is 331.4 what is 331.4 speed of the sound in meter per second when t equal to 0 speed of the sound in meter per second at t equal to 0 so happily a for agra should be answer everyone should have been given me answer for this year speed of the sound in meter per second at 0.6 some of you are saying b for bangalore no wrong right what is the speed of the sound in meter per second at 0.6 replace t with 0.6 so s of t is equal to 0.6 into 0.6 plus 331.4 0.66 plus 331.4 it is 331.76 so if they ask what is the meaning of 331.76 then your answer would have been speed of the sound in meter per second at 0.6 so 331.4 is speed of the meter, speed of the sound in meter per second when t equal to 0 degrees are initial value so definitely a for agra is answer now cc the increase in the speed of the sound in meter per second it corresponds to an increase of 1 degree this would have been answer if they ask you what is the meaning of 0.6 this is how you need to solve the question this is how you need to relate the question this is how you need to be clear in the question then only you'll be able to solve the questions here the increase in speed of the sound in meter per second that corresponds to an increase of 0.6 degrees meaning this is completely meaning okay yeah now let me solve one or two questions and let me explain you the next concept because i explained more than sufficient more than sufficient in this so now everyone in the class is clear with slope and y intercept meaning of slope and y intercept so whenever you get that immediately should attack the question and solve the question let me see if there is any question if not we'll go back to the next meaning of the slope and y intercept okay 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 Right. Okay. So there is no exact question on meaning of slope and y intercept. So let me explain the next thing. There are many more papers. I'm not doing those papers. I, I'll send the homework. You can do them. Now we are everyone in the class understood what is the meaning of the slope and what is the meaning of y intercept of a line i am very clear in those two two things i hope you have understood now what is the standard form of equation of line standard form of equation of line is y is equal to mx plus c where m is the slope and c is the y intercept m is the slope and c is the y intercept correct right m is the slope and c is the y intercept now how to find slope there are many ways to find the slope y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 this is the thing that you need to know you also need to know uh, okay i'll tell you other way suppose if i give ax plus by plus c equal to 0 now i'm teaching you the next concept you need to be with me so now so far we learned what is the meaning meaning of slope and y intercept that is what i have taught you now we need to know how to find slope how to find slope one way of finding slope is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 
What is the other way of finding slope? If they give me ax plus by plus c equal to zero, I'll write by is equal to minus ax minus c, or y is equal to minus a by b into x plus minus c by b. So slope is given by minus a by b. So other way to find slope is if they give me equation like ax plus by plus c equal to zero, slope of the line is given by minus a by b. I hope I am clear. Correct, right? Yeah. Now, how to find C? Very good question. How to find C? Y intercept? C here. Let me show you one question and uh, solve. Then you will understand. I just saw one question now. There will be many questions, not one question. Uh, this, this is also question based on that. You will get minimum 12 questions based on linear functions. Minimum 12 questions. Yes, what I am speaking, what I am saying is true. If you are good in linear functions, you can solve up to 12 questions based on that in the exam perspective. Now, uh, yeah. Suppose, assume linear, wherever I say linear, 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 straight line, linear function is what we are immediately y is equal to mx plus c should come into your mind. Immediately that should come into your mind. Okay? Yeah. So, y is equal to mx plus c first find slope if this is a question how do i find slope first take the points what is the first point f of x is also called as y please do remember f of x is also called as y so first point is 1 comma 5 second point is 3 comma 13 third point is 5 comma 21 take any two points any two points any two points so if i take 1 comma 5 and 5 comma 21 assume this is x1, y1. This is x2, y2. What is the slope? y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. 21 minus 5 by 5 minus 1. 16 by 4 is 4. So slope of the line is 4. y is equal to 4x plus c. So find c plug in any one point any point either this point or this point but any one suppose if i want to plug in one comma five x is one y is five so five is equal to four into one plus c therefore c is equal to four this is how you find slope this is how you find y intercept so the equation of the line is y is equal to four x or c is equal to five minus four is one here so four x plus one which is c for chennai is my answer so C for Chennai is my answer. C for Chennai is my answer. Clear? 100% paka. So, this is one way of finding. So, next thing that you need to learn is how to find slope and how to find C. Means, how to find equation of the line. Just now what we have learned, how to find equation of the line means to find m and c you know how to find m you also know how to find c so you say sir do i need to do all this don't i have any other method for every question you can do in minimum 2 to 10 methods or even 20 methods if you have patience so what is the other way to do this when you like these questions use plugging in so put x is equal to 1 if i put x is equal to 1 y should be 5 so 2 into 1 plus 3 5 don't hurry up and mark it because this is a trial and error. 3 into 1 plus 2, again I got 5, so this also might be correct. 4 into 1 plus 1 is also 5. The paper set is very smart. If you plug in, you get the same answer. Now try to plug in 3, comma 13. If I plug in 3, I get 9. If I plug in 3, I get 11. If I plug in 3, I get 13, so might be correct. If I plug in 3, I get 15. So the only option where I get 13 is C for Chennai. So C for Chennai should be my answer. This is another way of solving the question. So there are multiple ways to solve the questions. So far, what we did do, we did what is the meaning of slope and y-intercept. So what I am doing now, finding the equation of the line. So to find the equation of line, what I need to find, I need to find slope and I need to find y-intercept. The moment I can find these two, happily I'll be able to find anything. Anything means uh, whatever I require. Correct, right? Yeah. Now, where is this? Uh, next question, let me give you one question, last question for the day. 
then next class i'll send you homework please start solving that homework <clears throat> i just saw one question difficult question over there yes try to do this 23rd question if you can do 23rd question you are very good just look into the question and try to give me answer for question number 27 23rd question okay if you can solve very good if not i'll do this see here you need to understand again when i when i need to find equation of line only two points so they gave r r is my x first you need to understand what is x and y this is my x this is my y purchase price is x monthly rental is y purchase price in thousands of dollars means the points are 128 950 One seventy six comma one three one zero seventy comma five one five. These are the points. You can write remaining. So find slope. Take any two points. Let me take these two, or let me take these two. So nine fifty minus five one five divided by one twenty eight minus seventy. So denominator is sixty, and the numerator is approximately four hundred. So this is approximately close to seven. so so there are two options so you do exact value i think you get 7.5 as the slopes are 7.5 p minus 10 no need to find even this because the slopes are same even if uh, two slopes are 7.5 then you need to find c to find c you'll plug in any other point okay so what i'm speaking will make sense if you do practice i'll upload this video please do watch this but i'll send you homework those questions are most important please do solve them please use your brain be regular to the classes next class i'll discuss only on finding the equation of line okay yeah all the best take care till then i'll see in the next class i'll attend the english class with okay bye